Hey guys, name is Vanya and this video is about updating product receipts for loads in the new warehouse management solution. I'm going to start off by just quickly showing you the load that I have uh, created. It has two load lines for the two purchase orders um, that I created up front for the corresponding quantities and a packing structure. Uh, so the load is going to arrive in two uh, separate pallets, one containing uh, two items and the other one just 75 pieces of one of them. Uh, now I have received this first pallet which you can see here the work created quantity has been updated accordingly. I have not received this one and I'm not planning to. So when I update the product receipt a work exception is going to be created to show that there was a discrepancy. Let's just jump into it. So as I mentioned, it's located under the warehouse management module. And I'm going to use the batch job one. Um, I'm going to select the criteria to update the product receipts for all loads from this carrier that have not been received as of yet. Now, when I click OK, we can see that a shipment uh, the inbound shipment has been confirmed. This is expected. We can see both purchase orders that are on the load are going to be updated. And here's the product receipt um, number that's going to be assigned to these loads. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and confirm the product receipt. So what happens is that um, product receipt has been posted for both of the orders. Uh, let's quickly look at what happened to the load. As you can see, the load is now received. And if I go into the details, you can see that the quantity on one of the lines has been modified, decreased by 75 pieces, according to the second pallet that we never received. Now, if we look at the work exception log under the history in the warehouse management module, we can see that there is a receiving exception with the work exception code of missing item, which is the one I set, set up in the warehouse management parameters. And it is for my load with ID number six for the corresponding purchase order. Now, as you can see, we don't record the license plate nor the actual quantity discrepancies as of right now. Now, if we look at the purchase orders, uh, we can see that the second purchase order, which only had the one item, has now been received. So the status has been updated while the other one is still open because there is a um, pending delivery for that order that was not part of the load that, uh, that we received. Okay, just to show you one last thing, uh, how to quickly identify the product receipt documents that were posted for a particular load. You can just filter in the product receipt journal uh, form based on the load with a wild card. And you can see that these two product receipts were posted in one go for the specific load. So you'll always have the identifier of that load uh, as part of them. All right. Thanks for watching.